Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad-free over at Patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Blood Red Skies, new movie on Netflix, horror film, and uh, it's Halloween season. It is the month of October, and I want to try and review new horror movies as well as old classics. Uh, so this is a new one. Came across on Netflix. There's always some new ones on Netflix. Uh, and I really enjoyed this one. I was surprised. I was surprised. Because when you just like randomly choose a movie to watch on Netflix, you never heard about. It's not Squid Game. People aren't blowing up social media talking about Blood Red Sky uh, or any horror film anyway. Um it's a gamble. You don't know. I don't know. This could be horrible. This could be like mediocre. And I don't like talking about mediocrity. Thankfully, this one I don't feel fits into that category. Uh, this is a movie um, about a plane that gets hijacked. But one of the passengers on this plane is more than they appear. On the surface, it may look like it's just a woman who is sick. Who went onto a plane not feeling well? Is she wearing a mask? No, she's not wearing a mask. Probably she, she, but you know, if she's feeling sick, trying to put on the ruse that she's sick, uh, maybe a mask, especially in nowadays, like wear a mask when you're sick, especially on an airplane, uh, regardless of vaccine mandates and all that kind of stuff. Just like just common courtesy, right? Well, I mean, common courtesy is extremely lacking in huge chunks of humanity but let's assume you are a humane individual maybe care about your fellow man put on a mask if you're not feeling well on a plane she's not wearing a mask uh but she's also not feeling well and it's something that's definitely contagious it's not airborne it's not like the coronavirus it is not airborne but it is highly contagious and very dangerous uh because uh, this movie not only has uh, terrorists hijacking a plane, uh, but this also has vampires. And I'm not a fan, necessarily, of the vampire monster genre of films. Um, but every once in a while, there's something that comes along that, that really changes, that's like the, the, the exception to that rule for me. And this is one of them, because... You know, the, the way this plays out, I mean, just the premise of it. It's a plane that gets hijacked. Uh, this woman that's sick is taking medicine. Spoilers, by the way. Spoilers. I'm going to talk about this movie. And in talking about this movie, which I really did enjoy. Let me actually, before spoilers, let me run through some of the highlights of this movie. Super interesting premise, right? Not only there's there's actual layers to even the... The fact that there's hijackers on this plane layers to making it uh, more interesting than just generic hijackers, uh, terrorists taking over a plane. So it's got a super interesting premise. Um, it's got amazing performances from top to bottom, considering, you know, these terrorists are English speaking white dudes uh, would have normally been cast in like been cast with like maybe former MMA fighters or whatever, and then you would just get like you know just generic people with muscles on them who may not be able to act very well. This movie gets people that know how to act and are also you know people that work out quite a bit. So the performances are great, top to bottom. Multilingual movie. A lot of it's in English. But it's an international flight, I think, from Paris to New York, something like that. So you you have, like, the terrorists all speak English. Um, and then, you know, the different people on the plane, some speak English, some speak multiple languages. I enjoy it. I enjoy, like, you're getting, like, just flavors and aspects to a movie that make it better that you would not necessarily get in a generic standard United States produced film where they just like, it has to be like names. Like it has to, you have like, it's not about your ability to act 
uh, at all. It is about what kind of followers do you have on Instagram, and we, can we use that to help market this thing to make more money? doesn't matter how good you are as an actor. doesn't matter. I mean, Ronda Rousey is an actor. Is she good at it? No. No, she is not. Uh, but she's got that name recognition. Uh, thankfully, she's not in it. Thankfully, all the acting is great. The performances, the woman who is sick, the transition this character makes, which we'll get into spoilers, is amazing. The physical acting is amazing. The practical effects and makeup in this film, amazing. Like, it's not overdone at all. You know, everything's played to make, to fit with what this movie's trying to do. All of these things are amazing. So I highly recommend checking it out. I, I had a great time watching it. It feels pretty nonstop. Like, at no point was I, because there's, like, some ebb and flows when it comes to, like, who's in power in this situation. And, and things that happen are, like, it, it just, like, it's things that you don't see in movies that are generic. Like, first off, we're going to get into spoilers. First off, the terrorists, the people that take over the plane, not only are they not Muslim which or Russian or, you know, generic terrorist casting of people, right? Which any, any movie that has terrorism in it is going to have some generic, like, just, it's got to, oh, they're Muslim. No, that's not what happens in reality. Look at the news in the United States. The terrorist attacks that happen in this country are primarily white, privileged, whiny bitches that live here and that have gun access like and, and selection like you do Ben and Jerry's ice cream. You have every kind of imaginable weapon at your fingertips and in many states effortlessly obtained. Those are the terrorists, these white people. Okay, first off, terrorists, white, English-speaking, some American, English, some British, English, doesn't matter. It seems they don't go into the backstory, but they're like private military, like Blackwater type of stuff, right? So the, the whole question of why they're... And then, of course, what they do is they take Muslim passengers, brown Muslim passengers at gunpoint, and they force them to read their statement to make this hijacking appear to be that is your your generic muslim you know anti-muslim hate speech type of plot detail but no that's not how it is so just on the surface if this didn't have anything to do with vampires and it's just your standard plane gets hijacked by terrorist movie it's already exponentially more interesting than 99% of movies that do that kind of stuff. Movies that have, like, just the, the complexity to what's going on, which you don't really know. Passengers hypothesize, like, why they're doing it. Some think it's to, to crash the, the uh, stock market so people, so people who hired these guys can go in and then invest in the stock market when it's super low. To get a bunch of easy money, right? Could be that. Could be uh, there's like conspiracy theories that are like in you know it's, everybody's coming up with their own ideas. Super interesting, super interesting. But that's not even like you also have this woman who's sick, and she's taking her medicine, which apparently like suppresses her from turning into a vampire full fledged. Right, aspects of this vampireness seem very similar in a lot of ways to zombies. As far as like how fast they turn in this in this uh, movie. Now she is. Uh, who knows how she found out what drugs to take? She they sh they show a flashback of when she got bit, when she got attacked in the first place and this is when her child was like a baby still like all wrapped up you know around her chest whatever those baby carrier things are that's when she first got bit now the kid is like eight years old seven years old five years old i mean i don't know somewhere around there 
So she's been living with this for years, taking medicine to suppress it. Which is interesting as well. Do they have to go into the backstory? No. A little over four years ago, I started The Many Faces. It's an ongoing series of abstract ink portraits. Each piece is improvised. Each piece is released daily. Start collecting now. Head on over to inspiredisorder.com slash TMF. That stands for The Many Faces. And save yourself 25% when you use coupon code RTS. That stands for The Ray Taylor Show because that's what you're listening to. And I love you. So I want you to save 25% when you use that coupon code. Head on over to inspiredisorder.com slash TMF and use coupon code RTS to save 25% when you start collecting one of over 1,600 original ink paintings. By myself, I made them. Support me. I love you. Back to the show. I get it. I see what's happening here. Like we're in a universe where vampires exist. So, okay. Like I'm already there. So for there to be some kind of medicine that allows her, sure, that technology exists. Don't need to explain it at all. It, it Just this movie, it's well-written, super interesting elements to the story, and they don't, like, spend time spoon-feeding people information. Like, there's, there's not a whole lot of describing situation like there's in in a, in a worse movie in a lesser film like that kid or somebody would have had a monologue that ex- some tried to explain the science of how this drug works to suppress her from turning into a vampire but anyway she's there and during the the scuffle the kid runs away she goes after him right kid fi- thinks he's like we're gonna go hide here this is where we're going to hide. Because the terrorists have taken over. They got guns. Everybody's doing exactly what they're being told because there's a group of people who have been hired to kill them all. And they have guns pointed at them. I mean, assuming that whatever their plot, I'm sure it was to kill everybody. Generally, you know, unless their demands are met. Who knows? They're framing. The whole idea is they're framing. So you don't even know. You don't know. They're, they're trying to make an event. And they're trying to make it seem like Muslims took over this plane. But if you got a gun in your face, you just obey the person with a gun in your face. Unless you're like suicidal or drugged out of your mind. And the concept of a bullet going through your skull isn't, isn't computing correctly. So they're all sitting down, shutting the fuck up. And this kid bolts and the mom goes after him. Because it's a mom, you know? And also, she knows what she is. Potentially, she knows what she could become. But during the skerfuffle, she gets shot by one of the the terrorists. One of the, you know, the wild card card terrorists, you know? There's always a wild card terrorist who just does things a little extra. Like, they're really into being a terrorist. Shoots her amazing dis- like disturbing scene of her like coming when she like comes back to life this like gurgling as she's coughing up the blood and this like gurgling sound it's like this simple shot that like it gets you it gets like it's like uh, it, like it, it, it it's a visceral thing to hear somebody like the the gurgling and the trying to get air in when you're coughing up blood. Great, right? Just simple little thing as she's waking up, this little touch of detail. It's all shot great. You know, it's inside of a plane most of this movie, so that's not like the most well-lit, but it's all like, it all feels like it's natural lighting. You know? It's great. So she turns because she just got shot. And she's starting to turn. And that's when the, the, the movie starts to turn. Because this just was a, your standard, I mean, an interesting, not standard, but it, it was a, a hijacking movie 
And now this person just came back to life. And the progression in the makeup, the progression, they, they, you know, there's some flashbacks. There's a scene where she's like removing teeth in one of these flashbacks. Amazing scene. Like another one of those visceral, like the teeth design is amazing. Like the makeup is amazing. I saw a picture side by side of her next to the, the original Nosferatu. They took, clearly took a lot of inspiration from that original kind of vampiric look. And, and it progresses over time. Throughout this movie, she's changing. And she's still with it. Like, it's, it's a slow enough progression that she's still, like, with it enough to where it's like she... So she changes. And then she goes into the thing to, like, sa save her kid. And she ends up feeding on, I think, like, one of the dogs or whatever. Um, and the terrorists go down to get her. She bites one of the terrorists. Actually, that's not even right. Dude locks himself in the car, has a syringe somehow. I don't know how he got the syringe of blood. There's probably a scene that I missed. But he turns himself. He sees what's going on. And he's like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to level up to be on the same level as this vampire that's about to. So it's like the, the power shift. There's like terrorists are in charge. It's like, oh, no, motherfucker. Vampires in charge. Vampire is is stronger than terrorists, right? You can't kill. It's like very difficult to kill these things, especially at night. One of them has a little UV flashlight, which helps out. So then she's in power, but then once they start, once this dude starts changing, right? They try to kill him too late. Like she. Like, as soon as she sees that he's injecting himself with this blood to turn, she, like, immediately gets this gasoline, pouring it into a bullet hole in the, the windshield because he's inside a vehicle, so she can't get to him. And then she lights it on fire to burn him before it's too late, was too late. And then he ends up spreading it to the other terrorists. So now you have, like, the cargo hold, has, is full of these terrorists that are turning into vampires. So now she's up on top. And people are freaking out. But then there's this guy. One of the, one of the guys that's being framed as a terrorist is a guy who was, you know, helpful earlier in the movie. The kid was going to check bags, and he helped the kid check his bags. And then uh, he, uh, and then, so he's like, he's kind of been this, like, helpful guy. And he like she asks for, she's like he he's like begging he trusts her, and he's begging the other passengers to help. So then the passengers help her. So now it's like the passengers and this vampire chick are teamed up against the terrorist vampires in the cargo hold. So then it's like this power thing, and then it's you know vampire versus vampire. It's great, it's great. The the the. Like, who you're rooting for is crazy. Like, the, the, the fact that, like, who's, like, who is scary in this situation changes back and forth. And, of course, there's, like, this airport they're going to. And as far as they know, they know things have been, uh, you know, that uh, terrorists have taken over. But then, like, they didn't take over. It was, like, a very, like, a lot of communication, very inconsistent back and forth with the the airport they're going to. And then even after they land, there's, there's stuff that happens. It's like, it's like a stressful, it's, it's like a thriller that you would see about a movie about hijackers taking over a plane, right? It's that kind of stressful, high-tension type of a movie. But then you add vampires to it, and it just brings it to a new level. I really enjoyed it. I really had a, a huge uh, amount of fun watching this. Uh, let me see if there's anything. The progression of the makeup throughout. Her performance, her physical performance as a vampire was amazing. Like the level of the quality of acting and performances and the writing. Like the, the quality of this film is ridiculous for like just the, the wacky premise that it is. It's so good. Um, 
Let's see, what else? Is there anything I missed? Uh, they spread really fast. That was another thing. Like, shortly after you're bitten, like, one of the guys, the nice guy that's trying to help, like, they're trying to come up through the cargo hold, and they're trying to hold the door down, and as he's or holding the door closed, and as he's holding it closed, he ends up getting bit, and right away, the mom's like, oh, we got it. She gets an axe and chops his hand off, like, right away. Like she knows. She's, I don't know how she knows. But she knows. She has the medicine. Of course she knows. If anybody knows her. So anyway, uh, I highly recommend checking it out. It is a lot of fun. Even if you're not a vampire fan, if you are a vampire fan, you want to be like high tension and horror and some gore. I mean, not really gory, but I mean, it is vampires. But uh, I highly recommend checking it out. It's on Netflix and it's called Blood Red Sky. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week at free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. Follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Ouch!